Hi, welcome. This is Mary Shea, my channel is Shaloka. Let's see what is your situation as of now. I want you to hear from me right now. Virgos out there, someone arising Venus. What is it that you need to hear from me? Virgos out there, what is it that you need to hear from me right now? All right. We have an emperor. Some of you might be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus or a person in position. It could be a husband, it could be uh, your superior at your workplace, it could be a father. Anyhow, what goes out there? What is your first card, please? This one. Your first card is a Knight of Swords. So some of you are deciding to take the next step. Yeah? And uh, it's like charging forward into the uncertainty. Because Moon card is like, uh, you're not sure. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's still clouded. Now, this is uh, this is a card about uncertainty, uh, uncertainty things um, happening behind the scenes, all that. But there is this energy about charging for, forward, no matter what. Even if you know you don't know what is going to be the outcome, you're still going to. You've decided there is this impulsive decision. You know, I'm just going to charge forward. Some of you might be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini or probably a Pisces. All right. There is this energy about uncertainty, not knowing what next. All right. But still, you're deciding on something. Ace of Wands. It's like you're owning your power or to get what you want, you got to do this, that kind of energy. This is regards to the emperor. All right. What is your next card? Why it goes out there? What is your next card, please? The full card. It, it, um along with a judgment. So it's like, just what I said, you're charging forward without knowing what next. You know, it's, 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 it's like, you're willing to jump off the cliff, not knowing the consequences. You're willing to take the risk. That's what I was trying to say. Um, not jump off the cliff, no. Okay. Yeah. Very, very, um, very much holding onto your guns. You know, this, this is what I want that that's how it's going to be. You know, you're very defensive about this whole thing. That's why I said a kind of impulsive decision. Hmm? This is a verdict as well. Okay, when I showed you the judgment, you deciding this is how things are going to be. No matter what, I don't care what is going to be the outcome, but I've decided this is what I'm going to do about it. Some of you might be dealing with a Sagittarius. Okay. Hmm. This could be regards to a foundation. It could be a relationship. It could be an organization, whatever it is. It, it has some kind of a structure. Again, some of you might be dealing with a Taurus energy. What is going on? You have a fire swords. It seems like it's it seems like it's a lost battle, but yet you're willing to fight it. You know, people are not on the same page as you, but yet you're just going to stand your ground. You're going to fight back. Hmm? There is this energy about being adamant. I want to say, uh, you know, it's the final straw, like, you reach that mindset 
that you don't care anymore. Yes, full card and the moon card. You don't care about the future, but you got to do what you got to do right now. All right. What goes out there? What is your next card, please? This one. This one. Page of Cups. There is this naive energy. Emperor, Empress. This could be a relationship situation. Okay? The well, thing is, Again, when I stressed on um, on the Knight of Swords, it's it's a little impulsive. Page of Cups. There is this childishness or naive naivety attached to this uh, to this abrupt uh, action. This is an action-oriented card. So whatever you're doing. Could be a little impulsive okay but this makes you uh, feel this is the right thing to do okay you feel like you're doing the most mature thing about this who, are, who am I to say anything else I just broke the deck and we have the Seven of Pentacles. It seems like you have been waiting for this for, uh, for quite some time. Whatever the decision is, whatever action you're taking, you had waited. You put in the work and you had waited. And now you like, uh, you're like, yeah, that's it. I'm going to do it anyhow. Some of you might be dealing with a Taurus. What goes out there? What is your next card, please? one we have got the world card in the center of your reading this speaks about rebirths renewals transformation <laughs> second chances and the full card it's it seems like you know you want to take that again the knight of swords and the full card you just don't care about the future you just want to take that leap of faith Okay, you want to transform your life or transform the situation. Also, there is no certainty about how things will turn out. Yet, you're willing to take the risk. I'm curious now. What's going on? It's like you're making the decision to open up a new world for you. You're bringing about the change. You're willing to bring about that transformation within your life. Huh. All right. What is your next card, please, Virgos? I also want to say some of you might be bearing your soul. I didn't know how it makes sense to any of you. It doesn't make sense to me. But uh, when I'm looking at the World Card and the Knight of Swords, I feel like someone is deciding to bear their soul. So it's like speaking your truth, letting the other person know this is how, you know, how you feel. Mm. What goes out there? What is your next card, please? Woo. This is your next card and we have the Eight of Wands. You are adamant about moving forward, taking things forward. Okay, seven of wands, standing your ground. You, you're very defensive even if people, you know, uh, because the card fell on top of the page of cups. People might be telling you, you're silly, you're stupid. But you're standing your ground because you feel like this is this fulfill, fulfills me. So I'm going to do it anyhow. Okay, you're sticking your ground. You're very defensive about, uh, oh, good Lord. The devil's energy. All right. Okay. Uh, are you are you thinking this through? 
I, I just want to say you are on a high. Yeah, I don't know where that is coming from, but this is what I'm picking up on. You're on a high, you know, about something. You're already exhilarated about something. Mm. Yeah, there could be a communication, taking things forward, travel, all that with this Eight of Wands. And there is this naive energy about this whole thing, okay? When I'm looking at the Eight of Wands and the Page of uh, Cups, it's, it's like uh, something is, there is this attachment. There is this obsessiveness about something. This could be about another person. You're obsessed about this person. You're interested in this person. You you want this person in your life. So you are just going to do what you've got to do just to make it happen. But not thinking things through. This could be unhealthy somehow. This could be toxic somehow. Okay. This could be some kind of an unhealthy attachment. Y you haven't released yourself from it. So you're still clinging on to this energy to make it work. All right. Uh, Seven of Wands and the King of Cups. So it's all in your, uh, you know, it's all about your emotions. You, know, you have made up your mind. You don't want to listen to anybody who's saying, that's crazy. Some of you might be dealing with a Libra or a Scorpion or probably a Sagittarius or a Capricorn. Virgos are there. What is your last card, please? What is your last card, please? Virgos are there. This one. You got the Four of Pentacles. You are not willing to let go yet. This is something which is important for you, so you're holding on to this tightly. Yeah, you're taking this action because you don't want it to slip out of your hands. Again, we have a Capricorn energy and the Ten of Cups. Whatever this is, this brings you so much joy. This brings you so much abundance, happiness, all that. That is why you've decided, I don't care, you know, how things will turn around. But I, I'm going to do what I got to do. How much ever stupid it might seem to others, I'm still going to take my chance. Because you, you just don't want it to, you know, you want a second chance. Okay, it could be a relationship situation. You, you want a second chance with this person, so you're going to bear out your soul. Okay, you're going to make that communication. You might be traveling, yeah, 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 you know, you might be reaching out to this person. Hmm. All right, some of you might be dealing with, what was that? A Pisces. I'm just going to break the deck here. This one, yeah. Again, chariot energy taking things forward, just like the Eight of Wands. You know, you're behind the wheel. You're taking charge of your life, of this situation. You want things to be back on track. You don't want it to uh, lose it. You don't want to, um, want it to let it, uh, you don't want it to be the end. Somehow I'm losing my words. I'm not able to formulate a sentence. I feel that's your situation. Maybe there, there was things which was unspoken. Hmm. And now you want to speak the truth or let them know this is, you know, this is what. This is what you want. You don't want this person to slip out of your hand. 
okay because i feel like the pentacle is not an opportunity or anything i feel like it's a relationship situation the whole reading that's it that's it for now this is marishing your challenge to loka if this reading makes sense put it down in the comment all right that's it for now this is marishing bye, -bye.